Does anyone have like Trump tax return 2016 debate combo that he had with Hillary Clinton? I want to show you guys something really important. Oh, here In it is. In this bucket about fitness to be president, there's been a lot of developments over the last 10 days since the last debate. I'd like to ask you about, about them. These are questions. By the way, look who's moderating the debate. Hundreds of millions of dollars. There are oh, documented immigrants in America who are paying more federal income tax than a billionaire. I, I find that so let me just tell you very astonishing. Simply, we're entitled, because of the laws that people like her pass, to take mass. This is what I wanted to show you. So oh, she is right. She's calling him out correctly and saying you pay no federal income taxes. It's disgusting. You shit on undocumented immigrants who pay more into these very same systems than you do as a billionaire okay she was completely right look at what donald trump says here and donald trump is completely right with his answer watch this we're entitled because of the laws that people like her pass to take massive amounts of depreciation and other charges and we do it and all so this was something that obama did in the recovery efforts in 2008 where the rollover tax credits that you could get on your reported losses to stimulate the economy obama change that from two years to five i believe which helped trump tremendously okay part of the reason why donald trump was able to and report all these losses strong. and then Seven. and then not pay taxes at all is because of obama and he's because of hillary clinton as a senator is what he's pointing out right he's saying you guys built this broken system so he's right so when donald trump was running for president and he said this he was right all of her donors just about all of them i know buffett took hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, Soros, George Soros, took hundreds wait, of millions wait. of dollars. Let me just explain. Wait, wait, All no, of her wait, donors, wait, wait, most of her donors Mr. Trump. have done the same. But here's the thing. What did you do when you became president? Now, this is something that we need to be talking about because he is on the money here when he says, you and people like you give people like me and other wealthy benefactors everything. You give us the world, okay? And of course, I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm not an idiot. I'm smart. That's why. And he was right when he said that. But what the fuck did he do as president? This is what you need to hammer in. Because Donald Trump is an outsider and he ran as an outsider, even though he was an insider, technically as a billionaire. And he's still trying to run that same 2016 era outsider narrative right now. But he's not an outsider. He's been the president for the past four years. And guess what? He made that unequal system much worse so joe biden or anyone has please so for the love of fucking allah of the reason aziz muhammad jesus christ journalism, so the fucking you. buddhist gods whatever please someone point out the fact that you were right in 2016 when you said this is a broken system that helps people like you but you took control of that system and you made things worse so you are not only a hypocrite but you're a fucking liar you are not on the side of the american people you can talk about it all you want, but you openly stated that this, this is, is a broken and fundamentally flawed Harvard. system, Hi. a system that you took control over with a promise that you were going to fix it, and you made it fucking worse. Someone needs to point this out. Joe Biden's campaign needs to point this out. And then they have to do something about it too. Hopefully fix the broken system, which they're not going to. But the point I'm trying to make here is that Donald Trump has lied to the American people over and over again. And this is one of the worst lies. It's one of the worst lies that he told Americans that he was going to fix this broken system. And he didn't. He made it much, much, much worse. Same thing we, as I did. Okay. Well, and you know what you we, should have done? Folks, we heard and this. And you know, Hillary, what you should have done? You should have changed the law when you were a United States senator. If folks, you don't like we heard it. this. Yeah. Because your donors and your special interests are doing the same thing as I do, except even more so. Well, you, you should know, have changed the law, but you won't change I, the law because you take in so much money. I mean, I sat in my apartment today on a very beautiful hotel down the street known as... Trump. Made with Chinese deal. But I will tell you, I sat there... I sat there watching ad after ad after ad, false ad, all paid for by your friends on Wall Street that gave so much money because they he's so fucking good. He's so brilliant at using the frustration that Americans have to get himself elected. You guys think this guy's a fucking idiot. You are the idiot. I was an idiot too for not recognizing. I mean, I did recognize that he had a lot of good populist rhetoric, but like, you're the fucking real idiot if you don't recognize what he's doing here, man. He's giving American people a truth that most people in the elite class, in the politician class, don't ever mention. He's talking about a no-no thing that everyone kind of knows, 
but will never express on mainstream media. And he did that to win. He channeled all of the frustrations that the American working class has felt for a very long time and fucking unloaded it onto the pre-existing red herrings that the Republican media infrastructure has created. Immigrants, black people, gay people, women in the workplace, uh, and most importantly, the group that represents all of their interests and puts them over the interests of the white working class, liberals, bi-coastal elite liberals. This motherfucker, born with a goddamn silver spoon in his mouth to a family of multimillionaires whose father helped him, who went to fucking Wharton, who dodged the draft and like literally is everything that he criticizes. He was able to resonate with the American working class in the South and in the Rust Belt in a better way than Democrats ever could. And because Hillary Clinton fucking sucks at that, obviously, and everyone hates her. But God damn, dude, use all of this against them. You are leaving a gigantic opening here. Donald Trump is the president. He's been the president for four fucking years. Make people remember that. Did your lives get better? Or are you suffering worse after four fucking years? Let's say Trump pushes Biden so hard he mentions Bo and then Biden just loses his temper and punches him in the face. Do you think that would help or hurt Biden electorally? Oh, it would help. Pervert. If Joe Biden lost control to the degree that he punched Donald Trump, he would win. He would win the election. I, without a doubt, because that is an expression of the anger and the disgust that the American people feel towards Donald Trump. Just like Donald Trump was a good fucking vehicle for all the anger and frustration that conservatives all around the country felt against the libtards that have destroyed their uh, livelihood and destroyed their way of life by promoting homosexuality and promiscuity and, and making abortions legal and also promoted or whatever the fuck psychopathic conservatives believe in middle America. Is Joe Biden attacking Trump directly is exactly that expression, is the similar kind of expression that Americans feel towards Donald Trump as well. Is it okay that I am not gay but fangirling to you and voice so much they want to have sex with you both? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Self in presidential Weird. politics. Generating intense interest. In just 48 hours, it's become the single most talked about story of the entire 20... This was the, perhaps the greatest fucking counter of all time. 16 election on Facebook, with millions and millions of people discussing it on the social network. As we said a moment ago, we do want to bring in questions from voters around the country via social media. And our first stays on this topic. Jeff from Ohio asks on Facebook, Trump says the campaign has changed him. When did that happen? So Mr. Trump, let me add to that. When you walked off that bus at age 59, were you a different man or did that behavior continue until just recently? And you have two minutes talk, for as this. I told you, that was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I am a person who has great respect for people, for my family, for the people of this country. His name is certainly I'm not proud of it. But that was something that uh, happened. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to this women. There's range. never been anybody in the Remember, history of the politics in this nation that's that been so abusive to women. Do. So you can say any way you want to say. Okay, well, I mean, founding fathers literally had slaves and raped them. So His that's, name is Hassan. That's a little bit wild of a take there. So they, they definitely, <laughs> anyway. But Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women. And... Attack true? them viciously. Four of them here tonight. One of the women. He fucking brought them, dude. He brought them to the fucking debate so he could this point at them and go, perfect. they're right That's there. Truth. Juanita Broderick. Who is a wonderful woman at 12 years old, was raped at 12. Her client, she represented, got him off, and she's seen laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Kathy Shelton, that young woman is here with us tonight. So don't tell me about words. I am absolutely, I apologize for those words. The only time he's ever apologized, by the way. Was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in- You called it the uh, gold I standard. About, well, I hope- You called I, it the gold standard of trade and, deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it and I, all of a sudden you were against it. Cumpster to dumpster rolled.
Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. And look at her website. You know what? It's no it's different than this. Awesome She's telling us how to. F- it's so literally shit slinging. And Donald out. Trump is a great shit slinger. This is how he fucking rolled over every single pussy in the uh, in the Republican debate stage. And this is low key how he literally bullied fucking Hillary into submission. Continuing well, at the subject least I have a plan to fight ISIS. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you want to do. We no wonder you. This is where he thrives, by the way. This is where he thrives because this is classic dumb guy rhetoric, okay? Donald Trump didn't have a fucking plan to fight ISIS. He never did, but he didn't need it because he could fucking yap his way out of a corner, okay? And he did that. That's literally what he's doing. He's like, you're giving the game away to, to fight ISIS. The XQC strat, exactly. He's And he's pulling it off just like XQC gets to fucking dominate the conversation and suss random people and like, you know, yeet out crew members on Among Us, Donald Trump was able to fucking suss out Hillary Clinton and throw her out of the goddamn airlock, dude. You've been fighting, no wonder you've been fighting ISIS Folks. your entire adult life. Folks, well, that, that's me, a, that's, let, go to the, please, the fact checkers, get Folks, to work. You are, I'm, I will, oh God, that's so pathetic. She's like begging for outside interference, like calling the fucking mods, dude. I am calling the mods. To clean up this mess, mods, this Reddit thread has gotten out of control. That's so bad. Release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes. When she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted, as soon as she releases them, I will release, I will release my tax returns. My hope for the best outcome out of this, uh, out of this debate tonight is that Trump constantly interrupts Joe Biden, he's going to do that. He's going to roll over just like he has. This is, his t- uh, this is his style. It's going to be very good for him. My hope is that Joe Biden gets so frustrated in like that classic old guy anger that he demonstrates every now and then. And he just turns around and he says something really fucked. Or maybe even something light, like shut your fat fucking mouth, you stupid hog. Come on, Jack. You better shut that fat mouth up before I shut it for you. That would be so good. Uh, Some people don't well, do a good here's job. It. With you, Go ahead. you get the, the wait a minute, you get the final word. Mr. Well, it's hard to get any word in with this clown. Why won't he release his tax returns? And I think there may be a couple of reasons. First, maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Second, maybe he's not as his charitable as he claims Hassan. to be. Thanks, or maybe Steve. he doesn't want the American people, all of you watching tonight, to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen. By the way, this is this is yet another instance of like Hillary Clinton was right, but it literally didn't matter. I want to remind you that Democrats are not going to do a good job of like fucking selling the 750, even though Biden's campaign did use that immediate ad that they cut out was really good, showing exactly how much average Americans have paid in federal taxes. That was really fucking good. That came out literally like an hour after the New York Times uh, uh, investigation. What Joe Biden needs to do tonight is show Americans that he is the everyday common man and that he represents the everyday common man's interest and their point of view. Scranton, Pennsylvania, Joe Biden going up against the Park Avenue interest of Donald Trump, a billionaire born with a silver spoon, an entitled narcissistic man child that has ruined this country for his personal benefit and his personal needs. That's something that they have to hammer in. Wet ass P word. Earlier this month, you said she doesn't have, quote, a presidential look. She's standing here right now. What did you mean by that? <laughs> she doesn't have the... Dude, this oh, shit is like... It's man, so good. He was just like... Dude, he, he's just going to use... Of course he's going to use fucking misogyny and sexism shit as a weapon. Of course he was going to use that. Look, she doesn't have the stamina. This is a I said she doesn't have the stamina. You ever look and Instagram I don't believe she does so have the stamina. Like, what is this? Tell us? His fucking nervous laughter. Yo, Hillary should have been a fucking cutthroat prosecutor, okay? Hillary should have ripped him apart. But instead, he was just buckling like a picnic table over and over again. To be president... I mean, it wouldn't have helped anyway, because she, she campaigned like dog shit, so... Of this country, you need tremendous stamina. Well, as soon as he travels to 112 countries and negotiates a peace deal, a ceasefire, a release of dissidents and opening of new uh, opportunities in nations around the world, or even spends 11 hours testifying 
in front of uh, a congressional committee. He can talk to me about stamina. The world, let me tell you, let me tell you. Hillary has experience, but it's bad experience. We have made so many bad deals during the- Using her strength against her, using her strength and turning it into a weakness, very good. Oh yeah, you've been in politics for a very long time. I'm new around town, but guess what? Everything you've done is horrible for America. You are responsible for America's horrible foreign policy is a really good way to just fucking jujitsu that experience. He's going to do this against Joe Biden tonight as well. Just so you've been vice president, you've been in fucking Senate, you've been in Congress for 47 years. For 47 years, you've been a part of the fundamentally broken American political uh, infrastructure and you didn't do anything. How? How should the people believe you? Why should the people believe you now? A lot of neoliberals will maul at me for saying this. And they'll say, ah, he's a senator. Like, what do you think? A senator is supposed to be an authoritarian like Donald Trump? Blah, 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 blah. Like, turn it around and be like, I've been a public servant for 47 years. And you destroyed this country in the last four years in a way that no other president has ever done before. That's how you fucking counter that. Okay. Don't talk about like the responsibility of, of senators. Don't talk about fucking how little you got done or like why you got done very little because like it's actually like politics is about, uh, you know, politics is about like His marginal incremental uh, change or any any number of like different things that neoliberals will uh, different traps that neoliberals will engage in. Everything has to be about fucking deflection and retaliation. Everything has to turn around and attack oh, Donald Trump. Hit Donald man, Trump. 200,000 dead. 200,000 dead. And honest you are a piece of, of shit. 200,000 people died because of your incompetence. You lied and people died. Donald Trump lied. People died. Just like Hillary Clinton lied. People died. Stuck. That could stick too. Four years has passed by and it's not an accident that God, your administration is doing their very best to say this is Joe Biden's America. You keep showing pictures of Donald Trump's America and saying it's Joe Biden's America. Put him on the defense. Trump needs to constantly be deflecting and shifting blame away oh, on this debate stage man, tonight. Hassan. Just so, ultimately, at the end the of that debate, envelope. you can turn around and say, a good leader does not absolve himself of the responsibility. Leadership is it comes with a heavy burden. And Donald Trump demonstrate that he's a bad leader with the outcomes, with his mishandling of coronavirus, with everything else that he's done throughout this entire four-year tenure. But worst of all, aside from all the lies, he also refuses to take responsibility. And that, that is a powerful line because why should Americans vote for you if you won't even fucking take ownership of things that you've done wrong? I don't think Joe Biden will do that, but uh, if he did, if he does, it'll be good, it'll be successful. So uh, I hope he does at least make an effort, make the take the initiative, try to do it. It would be great if he did that. Cash App says, what advice would you give your past self in 2005? I don't know. I think I've done pretty well overall. Um, just like, don't fucking, don't tweet anything stupid. Everything you say on the internet is permanent and people will use it against you. Also, you're going to get swine flu when you go to college. That's what I would tell myself. <laughs>